Welcome everyone, this is chapter 2. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east of Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. <clears throat> Excuse me, Bert. Verse 5. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them until it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own con into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeareth to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Verse 16. And then Herod, so I just kind of want to like recap. So basically, you know, Mary gives birth. These three wise men have showed up. Um, they're following a star. They end up in front of this king. And the king is disturbed, but he doesn't let the wise men know. He tries to just kind of, you know, put up a front like, oh, yes, you know. Uh, as soon as you find out where he is, you know, let me know, let me know so I too can worship. But, but he had no desire to worship. And, um, you know, the kings come, they go, they find the child. And um, they're warned by an angel not to go back. Now Herod finds out and he is raging upset. <clears throat> um, so... Mary and Joseph are warned and they come out of Egypt. So this is, you know, I can imagine how in Old Testament they're looking at these scriptures and they're like, well, where is the Messiah supposed to come? Is he going to come from Bethlehem? Is he going to come from Egypt? You know, and it's all because God knew beforehand that, yeah, he was going to be born in Bethlehem. But at some point, I'm going to send him to Egypt. And then out of Egypt, he's going to get called out again, you know. And this happens so much in life. Like, we don't know the whole story. You know, there's so many details that can happen at any moment. Um, and it's just, it's just life. <laughs> okay, so back to the story. Um, so verse 16. 
Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and in all the coast thereof from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, In Ramah was there a voice heard, lamentation and weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children and would not be comforted because they are not. Like I read this the other day and I, I want to cry because I understand, you know, like when your children are taken away and that, that aching cry, like, what persecution, what king has such a wrath, you know, that, and all of this is like ego and territory. Like the offense of Jesus's birth is all about, sorry, it's all about like he, Jesus was prophesied to be king. And so here's Herod and he's king and he's like, ain't nobody else, no one's going to replace me, you know? And at what length will people go, you know, for, for territory, for like, this is mine, you know? Um, that they're willing to kill and slaughter children two years and under. Like that, that, that hurts. Like, I don't know, that's... That's sad. Verse 19. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeareth in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel, for they are dead, which sought the young child's life. And he arose and took the young child and his mother and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus did reign in Judea in the room of his father Herod, he was afraid to go thither, notwithstanding, notwithstanding warned of God in a dream, he turned aside into the parts of Galilee. And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, he shall be called a Nazarene. Oh, this is so beautiful. Like uh, that Nazarene, Nazareth. Um, there's a scripture verse uh, where it says like, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And it's like, God uses those who are weak and despised in this world to confound the wise. And, you know, this is, this is where Jesus grew up, is in Nazareth. And Nazareth was a place that had a bad reputation. You know, it was full of Samaritans. Samaritans were basically half Jews, half Gentiles. They were people who, you know, basically mixed religions kind of thing. Um, and, you know, they, they were looked down upon and, and it is, it's here where God chose to raise his son, you know, amongst the rejects, basically amongst the, the less than those that people despise. That is where God chose to raise his son. And it's just, it's beautiful. Like the wisdom of God to me is like really fascinating. And um, God's sense of humor. I, like, I, I love my God. You know that